right. This video, I'm going to introduce the logic of syllogism. Logic was founded by Aristotle in the 4th century before Christ in Greece. Um, and he is the first who has a systematized, I mean, systematic study of this discipline uh, in various works like the categories, the interpretazione, prior analytics, posterior analytics, topics, sophistical refutation. But before we talk of the syllogism in the strict sense, we need to clarify a, a few um, concepts about propositions, which Aristotle basically divided in four types. Um, a proposition A, which is defined as universal affirmative, for example, all men are mortal. The E proposition, universal negative, for example, no man is immortal. I, particular affirmative, O, particular negative. It is very important to understand this type of proposition because a syllogism uses them extensively. That's the syllogism is based on this type of proposition. Okay, if we look at these propositions, for example, the A proposition, we have uh, all, okay, we have men, uh, man is the subject, then you have mortal, mortal which is predicated of the subject so it's it talks about the subject and the verb to be but very important is this all no socrates we could say here uh, some like some man all no some are called quantifiers. Aristotle's followers have traditionally laid down the four types of proposition in a square known as the traditional square of oppositions. And we see that at the four corners of the square we have the A proposition, the E proposition, the O proposition and the I proposition. Right. Um, so, if A is true, I is true, must be true. The other relation that we can immediately um, establish is between A and E. Okay, what kind of relation we have here? These two are contrary. What that contrary means? Contrary. These two are contraries. Okay. Which means that if A if A A is true, E is false, if A is for, uh, if E is true, A is false. They cannot be both true, but they could be both false. Next relation is between A and O. 
the relationship between A and O is called contradictory relationship. So A, O is the contradictory of A. They contradict each other. What does it mean? If A is true, O must be false. Okay? So if all B are A, some B is not A, it's It's false, evidently. The other contrary is between um, E and I. Okay, so if E is true, I is false. So no B is A, some B is A is false. No B is A is false, some B is A. If some B is A is true, no B is A is false. So they exclude each other, they're contradictory. As we have seen this relation between A and I, we can also see the other relation between E and O, which is similar in the sense that it's a subaltern. So if a, no if, if E no B is A, okay, it's true, then some B is not A is true as well. So from E we can necess logically derive in fair deduce O. Okay. That's the first uh, type of relations. There is a, uh, a logical necessity between those propositions. We have only seen the contraries, the subaltern, and the contradictories. The contradictories are here. We can put the contradictory here. contradictory so each of the two proposition on these lines the diagonal lines are contradict contradicting each other if I start from this diagonal O contradicts A if I start from this diagonal I contradicts it.